Okay, so let's find the area of moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. So we've done this one uh, already this semester. So so part A, um, if, if you haven't done this, or if you, make sure we can go back. Sometimes you might need to find the centroid of the cross-sectional area, and you, you have to before you can find the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. So we needed to, to see and find that the centroid is 8.4 inches from the bottom. Okay, so we did that, but that's finding the centroid of a composite body. So y'all can do that. So now that we know that the centroid is 8.4 inches from the bottom, now let's find the moments of inertia about the centroidal axis, about this Y bar. Y bar we knew was straight down the middle, right? The centroid was straight down the middle because it's symmetric. X bar, we needed to have calculated it. It's 8.4. All right, so if we know this is 8.4 inches, let's find the moment of inertia about the X and the Y centroidal axis, IX. Well, let's, let's say this is a composite body that's made up of a rectangle. We'll, we'll just uh, say that this is uh, just a rectangle plus a circle and then minus this middle circle. How about that, right? A pink rectangle plus a circle minus that center circle. And we won't worry about what, what's happening right here. It's not exactly a rectangle plus exactly a circle, but we can estimate it like that Think pretty good. All right, so the, the rectangle is 1 12th B H cube that's on our formula sheet if we if you didn't know it but that's 1 12th bh cube is about the centroid of the rectangle where's the centroid of the rectangle well the rectangle is 10 inches tall the centroid is five inches from the bottom so i but i want the uh i about this axis which is 8.4 inches from the bottom right so i need to move this from five inches to 8.4 inches i need to move this 3.4 inches Square that. So this is A D squared. Remember, we're finding I is summation of I plus A D squareds for every shape. All right, use the parallax theorem for that pink rectangle because the formula that I know is about the centroid, but the um, moment of inertia that I want is about this axis that is 8.4 inches from the bottom, about the centroidal of the centroid of the composite body. Okay, how about this circle right here? I can look at my formula sheet, but the area, the moment of inertia about a centroid is one fourth pi r to the fourth. But that's about the middle right here. Okay, if this is 8.4 from the bottom, that means it's 1.6 from here, and then another two inches. So I need to move it down two and down 1.6. I need to move it 3.6, all right? And then the area, right, AD squared. The area is pi r squared. All right, then I'm going to subtract out this middle circle. It is 1 fourth pi. It's r to the fourth. And I need to move it actually the same, uh, 3.6 squared, AD squared. All right, so then I've got the I, X, just add those, subtract those. I, X is 332.9 inches to the fourth. That is the I about this centroidal axis, the centroid of the composite body, the cross section. All right, I, Y, the I, Y of that pink rectangle is 1 12th H, B cubed. That's the eye about the centroid. I want the eye about this, which, which is still, which is the same axis. Um, I want the eye, I don't have to add an AD squared for that one because the eye that I was given is about the centroid of that rectangle. The centroid of the composite body is, is still at the centroid of the rectangle for the y, so I don't need to add an ad squared. So don't don't add it if you don't need it. All right, for the large circle, 1 fourth pi r to the fourth, 
that is down the middle of this large circle, which is the same axis. I don't have to um, add an AD squared. And then I'm subtracting 1 fourth pi r to the fourth. And again, I don't need to move this y axis anywhere. Add those together. Yeah, I've got this final answer to be 12.6 inches to the fourth. Okay, makes sense. It's a lot smaller than the IY right there.